Hi, welcome to the second um, C++ um, tutorial um, using Eclipse. The last tutorial, what we've done is printed out Hello World to screen, and so we showed you the CL command and uh, less than um, pointing to the left, um, and also the int L command for a new line. And so, what we're going to show you now. It's a C in command for getting input from a user, and so underneath here I'm going to go C in, as simple as that, and two greater than signs, and I'm going to give it a string like name, and so what I've not done here is I've not declared the string. And that's something I've got to do. So if I go string name semicolon, I've declared it, I've not assigned anything to it, um, but this name is going to be assigned to whatever I type in at the console. And so what I'm going to do is save the program. Well, that was successful so so I'm going to run the program and you'll get hello world and we'll be able to type in a name after it but we've not done anything with it so after that successful we'll print it to screen so this is just to show you hello world and here we can type in a name like Charles enter that's done its job we've not done anything with the string Charles yet and so after this we can go C out string is my name and two more less than signs and put name in semicolon to enter command. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, print out hello world, then type in my name, and once they type in my name, hit enter, it's going to print out this is my name with what I typed in, and so what I need to do is save the program, compare. run the program, and what you can see, if I make this bigger, um, you can see it's printed out, so if I click here, I'll be able to type in Charles, hit enter, this is my name, Charles. So that's input. It's really quite, MC++ is quite straightforward and simple for these things. It's an advantage that it has so far, other languages. So you can imagine in Java we've got to do system.out.print and print ln. Um, this is a lot better, a lot easier. And so, so that's um, getting input from a user. So again, thank you for your time, and I hope that's been of some use.